I got a call from my mother telling me there are some guests coming at our house. And as soon as I received this message, I had to do multiple things like clean the house, bring snacks and much more. And all these things needs to be done immediately as guests might come at any time. And if you think about this, this is practically impossible to do everything at the same time. Similarly, in CRM systems, we might face similar challenges. Let's consider an example. Let's say we have an external shipping system for ship products. And whenever shipping is done, it sends the same details to Salesforce. And then Salesforce does variety of things just to keep a track of the shipped order. And this is where platform event comes into the picture. Platform event has a producer which produces the event and event bus can be considered as a path which takes your data and there can be multiple consumer consuming the data from the same event. In our case, when the product is shipped, the system will publish a platform event and thus we can consume the same platform event to do variety of tasks inside our Salesforce app. Let's look at this practically with a coding example. So for our previous scenario that we have saw in the just few minutes before, in our case right now as I don't have any external system or shipping system, so I'm going to consider workbench as a shipping system. So as soon as the order has been shipped, okay, this workbench is going to send us back, uh, send the data back to Salesforce stating that the order has been shipped. Okay, so for that same reasons, Workbench is specifically going to go and interact with Salesforce, right? It's going to tell Salesforce that an order has been created. Okay, so for that reasons, what I have done is I have created a ship order Apex class. And in this specific class, I am trying to expose this Apex class using shipping details. And I'm trying to create a post method, okay, which where I will provide the order ID. Okay, so I'm just going to go with order ID for now. So what's going to happen is that as soon as I click on execute and I provide the order ID over here, let me provide the order ID over here. Some order ID, right? So this is the order ID that I will get once the order has been shipped. So workbench in, in, in this case, it's workbench. So as soon as the order has been shipped, we will get this kind of order ID from the external system. And once we click on execute, I think so it will execute successfully. Yes, it has been executed and we will get this specific order ID, whichever order ID I have passed over here, I will get it over here, over this parameter, right? And then if I want to do anything, I can do it. So now in this case, we will get the order ID, but after getting the order ID from the external system, we have to do multiple things, not only one thing, but there are many, many, many things. So in this case, the platform event will come into the picture. So for the same things, what I've done is I have created a platform event called as shipping detail. It's just like a normal object. So if you if you want to go and create a platform event, you can just search platform events over here and you can click on new platform event. Just like a normal object, you can give the label and set, set, set the publish behavior publish immediately and click on save. And this is what you will get just like a normal object. And along with that, I have done is I have created a field called as order ID because as we saw just recently that I'm going to get the order ID and based of this order ID, I have to do many, many, many things in this. So, right. So for that same reasons, I have created an order ID field over here. So what I'm going to do is that as soon as I get the order ID from the external system, as I have to do many things, I will capture that order ID inside the platform event and then I'll do whatever I want to. Right. For an example, what I'm going to do over here is so I will go ahead and create the shipping detail. So as soon as someone is going to go and send the order ID to us, I will go shipping question new and I'm going to say um, shipping dot order ID underscore underscore C, which was the field that we created for our platform event. That is this equals to the order ID that I have received, I will be receiving from the external system, right? I'm using HTTP post method. So they're going to send us the order ID and we will get the order ID over here and we will store it inside our platform event. Now, once that is done, I will say event bus dot publish this event that is shipping event or the platform event that I've created. So what's going to happen is that as soon as someone, some external system is going to send us any kind of order, we are going to get that order ID and we are going to store it inside the platform event. 
Now once it is stored inside the platform event, as we all know, platform event is also a normal object only. Okay, it's just an object. If you see, it's not under, it's denoted with underscore underscore C, but actually it's just like a custom object itself. Okay, so whenever a record is going to get created inside this object, what's going to happen is that a trigger will get invoked for it. If there is any, a trigger will get invoked. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a trigger over here, and I will say the shipping shipping triggers. Okay, and that will be on the same object that is shipping detail object, the platform event that I've created. Okay, so you can click on submit, and you have your trigger available. Now you can write whatever logic that you want over here okay so i will say shipping ship colon trigger dot new and you can do whatever you want to over here okay using that order id so specifically what's going to happen is that once someone is going to go and send you the order id over here the platform event basically this is the method that will you get invoked and you will pass the order id and you will invoke a platform event over here Okay, basically you are creating a record inside the platform event and as soon as in any object if you create a record if there is any trigger a trigger is going to get invoked over here right and from that trigger you can fetch the details of the platform like the details that are stored inside the platform event and you can do multiple things at a time okay for an example if I want the order ID so I'll just use ship dot order ID underscore underscore C if I try to system dot debug it it will give me the details that I want to. Okay, so if I try to execute it right now, it will give me the details that I want to. Let me click on execute. Okay, it's successful. So most probably if I double click over here. Okay, I won't get any details about the trigger because I have to set up the debug log. Okay, debug log for the automated process so I've already done it uh, right now let me delete it so if you see right now if I click on over here a uh, platform event will get invoked and because of this platform event a trigger will get invoked okay so if I click on execute if I refresh this page as it is generated by automated process a uh, log will get created over here and I can see the details for an example see this is the order ID or what what did I name it as I did not name it as anything okay let me name it something like for an example SF Salesforce in five minutes and I'll say plus and if I do it over here again let me delete the logs again Specifically speaking, we should get this specific order ID. If I open it, yeah, as you can see, I'm getting the order ID at line number six. So at line number six, which is at, I think so, this specific order, this specific line, I'm getting the order ID successfully. So external system is sending the data, you're capturing it inside the event and you are using the trigger in order to control the specific details of this platform event. So this is how you use platform events in your real world example. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel.